Hey everyone, we're going to look at our next category on the Autodesk Fusion 360 Autodesk Certified User Certification Exam Objectives. And that next section is going to deal with drawings. And we're going to look at this first objective called Creating a Drawing View Base Projected Section and Detail. And with that, we're going to start off with a part in Fusion 360, and I'm going to show how to create that. So first off, once you have a part created, you can do this multiple ways. You can right click either on the component and say create drawing. You can go up to the file menu and say new drawing from design. And that'll do a lot of scenarios. So I'm gonna go ahead and show it from the component view, create drawing. It's gonna ask us what type. I do have a template that I use quite often. I'm gonna use a B size title block and I'll say okay. And this title block is a custom one that I've created for my students. So the first thing that'll happen is, is with a component, it will automatically load in a base view for you. So you can see the base view option is highlighted up here in the upper left-hand corner. You can choose what orientation you would like, whether it be a top view, a right side view, but typically you want the front of your shape that shows the most description about that object to be represented. So the style, you can have vis just visible edges, you can have visible and hidden edges, shaded, or you can have shaded with hidden edges, which usually I don't use a lot. But then we have the scale. So either I can type in a custom scale or you click on the three dots next to it and choose like for example, one to one scale. That looks pretty, pretty large for what we're doing. We'll do one half. That works pretty well for our drawing. And when I click, I can place the view and say okay. This will show now there is our hidden edges being represented and here is our front view for the, for the object. If I wish to edit that view, I can always double click on it and then pull up the same options, change what orientation that I want for it to show in. I want it to show in the front and I want the, if I do not want the hidden edges being shown, I can always choose the first style option or if I want it to be shaded, but that's usually saved for isometric views. And then I can change the scaling as well as do anything with tangent edges or interference edges and thread edges. These don't get used quite often and it's not something assessed on the ACU exam. So that's why I'm not spending a lot of time on those. But I'll go ahead and hit close. Our next one is gonna go through and look at, we're just gonna go through the options that we have here, which is gonna to be to create a projected view, a section view and a detail view. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose projected view. I'm gonna select, so first thing it does, it asks for to select the parent view. I'm gonna click on it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and have it place a top view. I can click to place it. I can place a right side view. And then if I go move my cursor up into the right diagonally, I can click to place an isometric view. So some edits that I can make to these particular views. I can double left click on the isometric view to change it over to a shaded. One of the options you'll see that that now changes in your visual style that does not show up in the front view is this option that says from parent. So anytime that you edit a projected view, you are going to change the appearance or the style of it. You're gonna see this from parent option. I'm gonna change this to shaded and say closed. Whereas if I try to do that there, you'll notice I don't have that option. So it's always being, you know, sometimes pulled from the parent view. So that is kind of dealing with some views as you go along. A section view would be the next thing that we'll take a look at. So section view, when I click on it, it says to select the parent view. So maybe I wanna create a section to show what this looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the front view here. And the thing I have to start to set up is what is the cutting plane line? So let's say I kinda of go right off the center. I'm gonna create a full section by clicking and going right through my part. So that means anything that I, I move through with this line is gonna be cut through and then I can choose the green check mark. And if I move upward and click to place and say, okay, it's like I just went through and imagine I cut across that part. Here's my section label that I can always move here as well. But here is the section view. And maybe if we wanna get rid of this top view and have the section view replace, they would make more sense to go through and have that there. So there would be our section view created. Sometimes what they will do is they will have you create a section view on the exam and then dimension like for example, what's the width between you know, where the parts would be. So depending upon where you place your section line could go through and make that happen. So like here, they may have you pull a dimension and ask for what is the measurement between two specific points. 
The last one here is going to be a detail view. So a detail view, all that it does, either you can choose the option from the ribbon or you can click from the create menu. And the detail view, it says to select the parent view. So maybe I want to just go through and if I click, it's like drawing a circle. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move it outward like so. I'm gonna go ahead and move it so the label doesn't get caught inside of the object. And what I'm gonna do is it's just gonna magnify the scale by twice as much. And then maybe what I can do with this is by clicking dimension, I can go ahead and dimension some of the different parts without it interfering on this here. If I don't have a lot of room or there's a lot of uh, maybe small details that need to be blown up and kind of shown in a different view, we can do that with a detail view. But that's kind of the option that you take is just like drawing a circle. You're just kind of highlighting or it's, I kind of tell my students, it's like a magnifying glass is that you're just going through and looking at whatever's inside of there. So if I select the circle, if I make it bigger, you're gonna see more of what's there. If I make it smaller, then it's gonna kind of condense down and only show what's inside of that circle. So, all right, the other thing with views, just as a note here, you will have some like, for example, in geometry, you do have center marks. So especially with this part, so anything circular, you would want to go through and have uh, some center marks and then as well as center lines. So like for example, on your hidden edges, clicking your hidden edges, will set in center lines through them. And again, wherever, whatever lines you click, we'll set those in. So this right here kind of concludes on creating the different views for your drawings. Hopefully this is gonna be very helpful as you take a look. And again, think about what kind of uh, views that may be asked for when you go through the exam. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to email me. I'd be happy to go through and answer those. But until next time, you're gonna see another exam objective video. Keep watching keep studying and being prepared for that ACU exam.